Alright, so in this video, I'll quickly show you how to convert an array to an object. So over here, you can see we have this array over here and we need to convert it to this object over here. So as you can notice, the indexes of the array is going to be the respective key in the final object and the value is going to be nothing but the respective value of each of those index. So A has the index 0, so 0 will be the key and A will be its value. Similarly, B has the index 1, so 1 will be its key and B will be its value. And C has the index 2, so 2 will be the key and C will be its respective value. Alright, so now let's go ahead and implement this. So to implement this, what we can do is we can simply use the reduce method of array. So what I'll do is we know the reduce method returns a particular final value, right? So I can write let obj equals nothing but array dot reduce. And we know the reduce method takes in two arguments. One is the callback and the second is the initial value. So first just write the callback over here. All right. And the second is nothing but the initial value. So the initial value is obviously going to be an object because we finally want to output an object, right? So within this empty object, we want to append through this array and manipulate it in such a way that we get these values over here. All right. So in the reduce method, you know, in the callback, it takes three arguments. The first is nothing but the accumulator. The second is nothing but the current val. And the third is nothing but the index of the array. All right. So let me actually zoom in a bit. So first of all, we know that the accumulator over here, it contains all the accumulated values. So let's say once we go to B over here, then whatever we must have done with A, the accumulator will be containing the values up until A. So what I mean by this is initially, right at the beginning, our initial value is an object, right? So when we iterate through this array using reduce, then when we go to A, the accumulator over here in this case is nothing but the empty object. Because right now we haven't accumulated anything. We haven't added anything to it. We haven't added any value to it yet. All right. So in this callback, all we can do is we can actually return an object. And to this object over here, I can simply spread in the values of the accumulator and I can use the index which is over here the i and for the index I'll add nothing but the current value itself all right let me actually zoom out a bit so all this is doing is let's say first when we are at a at that moment the accumulator will be having nothing right because it's an empty object so when we spread in the accumulator nothing is going to be spread in into this object then it's going to go over here i is nothing but the index of this a over here which is zero and then the value is nothing but a so to this object for the first iteration we are adding nothing but the key value pair zero and a then this zero and a is going to be added in the accumulator because as i said the accumulator accumulates all the values as we keep iterating through the array so next when we go to b the accumulator will already be containing this part over here zero and a so when we go to b we will first spread in the values of the accumulator to the new object we are creating so 0 and a will be spread out and then we will take out the index of b which is nothing but 1 and its current value which is obviously b so the new object or the accumulator will accumulate that new value as well and it will contain nothing but this part over here all right so that when we go to c the accumulator will be including this much or this part within it all right so when we go to c we first spread out the values of the accumulator in the new object we are trying to create so which is nothing but this part over here this gets spread out and then we take out the index of c which is nothing but 2 and its current value which is nothing but c all right so key of 2 and value of c also gets added to the object and then the reduce finally returns the object which contains nothing but all of these values so it gets accumulated and added into the object as we keep traversing through this array over here all right so now if i actually console.log so console.log object or obj and if i run then voila you can see over here we get the perfect output exactly same as this all right so that is how you convert an array to an object so with that that's all for the video and i hope you found it insightful